Hi, I'm Theo from Theo Cooks, and today we're making monkfish with a tapenade dressing wrapped in pancetta that's all going on a stick on a barbecue. So today's recipe veers off a little bit from my usual standard barbecue recipes, which are normally just big chunks of meat over charcoal, and we're going for something a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more decadent. Um, and what could be more so than some gorgeous monkfish, which is as meaty as you're going to get, some lovely crispy smoky pancetta, and all of that's going to come together with a really quick basic tapenade. Um, so first things first, let's make this tapenade. I've got some regular olives here, just black olives, they're already pitted. I'll be totally honest, I hate myself for using pitted olives. They don't taste half as good as the ones with the stones in, uh, but I couldn't get hold of them, so we're going to run with them. Now you do want to chop these up fairly fine, um, because this is really going to sort of almost act as like a marinade, a coating on the monkfish before we wrap it in the pancetta. So if the bits are too big, they're going to fall off. So that's our olives done. And it, look, if you've got a work food processor, just bung everything in there, blitz it, and it's done in no time. Um, so we want some garlic as well, so I've just got one clove. We're just going to take this out of the shell and crush it. Done, add that to your olives. I've got probably a dozen small capers, we're just going to throw them in there as well and then some parsley. Again, finely chopped. Okay. Now, a good tapenade, you need some good extra virgin olive oil, and a bit of seasoning. Pinch of salt, good bit of black pepper, and a little squeeze of lemon. And I've got a great recipe for a green and black olive tapenade, which is a little bit more in depth than this one on theocooks.com. So if you want a tapenade just as a side dish, go to the website and check that out. So that's our tapenade made. And now we've got our monkfish here. So I've already chopped up the monkfish into sort of bite-sized pieces. Um, I'm just going to get our marinade and put that straight on top. And just get your hands dirty. So the final bit of the recipe is we're going to get some pancetta now and just wrap each one around it. Then grab a piece of monkfish, pop it on the end. Um, look, you know, grab some of the marinade as well. Don't, like, get that on there, you know. And just roll that. Tuck it under. Get your skewer. Lovely, and that's going to turn over the chuck coals beautifully. So let's get the rest of them on. So that's it, that's our monkfish wrapped up. Let's get this on the barbecue and start grilling. So our monkfish is done, I mean it looks gorgeous, you can see all the pancetta sort of shrinks as it heats up so they get even tighter and stuff, it smells amazing, let's get some of this off and have a look. And I think they're just loving it, it's just something a bit different, you know, a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more decadent. You know, and these are things that I think should be put out on a plate and everyone just dives in and helps themselves. So let's have a look. Oh, the monkfish is cooked perfection. That's beautiful. Mm. Mm. So let's cut one of these open and check it out. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that and all that crispiness. Oh, good lord. That really is stunning. The monkfish is such a meaty fish that it really stands up against stuff. And that pancetta's wrapped around it and as it's cooked it's got crispier and it's tightened up. 
and you know, as you eat it, you get these little pockets of the tapenades coming through, this little burst of olive and little burst of caper here and there. This is gorgeous. What it needs is a little squeeze of lemon and then a good hit of salt and you've, you've got it made. So look, that's our monkfish wrapped in pancetta with our tapenade done. And these kebabs out of this world. So look, check out theocooks.com for more recipes. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the other barbecue series. We've got loads of this stuff going on.